Hey everyone, my name is Natty and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing an Amazon haul. Um, I think I have like two things that are not from Amazon, but they're, I bought them while I've been quarantined. So I included them in my haul. Thank you guys who've been liking and subscribing. I finally reached 100 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, I'm switching up my content, trying to see what works for me, um, trying to see what direction I want to go in. And so, um, yeah, if you're liking what I'm bringing, <laughs> please like. Um, so first things first is this big old sewing machine. This is my sewing machine. <laughs> Um, I got it from Amazon and even though I purchased it from Amazon, it took a while to get to me. Um, it almost took like, a, it was like three and a half weeks. I haven't used it yet. Um, and it comes with a foot pedal and some needles, of course, and some other parts that I have to hook up to the sewing machine. But I used to sew a long time ago when I was in high school. I'm not going to give away my age. Um, <laughs> but I just stopped and I don't know, during, you know, during the quarantine period, I was like, oh, I want to start sewing again. But of course, this took forever. Um, I wanted to start off kind of like sewing masks and then kind of working my way up because I want to start like hemming my own clothes and making little knickknacks that I could sell on um, my Poshmark page. So, yeah, that's my sewing machine. I think it was like... $214 or something like that. I'm gonna put the price over here somewhere <laughs> I have to look for it but it was definitely like $200 but I think with the tax it was like two something but the funny thing is when I first saw it, it was $179 and then I came back on a couple of days and it was like 189 and I was like oh I gotta buy it now but then I was like oh I don't know and then the next day it was like 200 I was like oh my god so I end up buying it for $200. Um, I think, I don't know, at the time, I think people were just buying a lot of sewing machines. Because even when I went to the, the Singer website, Singer is like a good brand for sewing machines. All this particular, brand, this particular model was sold out. So that's why I ended up buying on Amazon. So I did also buy, because I have a sewing machine, I need fabric. I bought this fabric because it was like cheap, but this is like polka dot fabric. Um, it was like $3. I bought it off of Amazon. I figured I could practice making masks with this. And, um, if I'm good at it, I'll buy, I get some more fabric and start making some more, like, different, you know, patterns and stuff. And I bought this other fabric. It's a, it's called flannel, but it's like a thicker white fabric to go in between, um, the mask, this polka dot material to make a mask. I also bought some thread white and black thread um and i bought some elastic for the you know part that goes behind your ear or over your head like that i think that's it for the sewing machine we'll see how that goes i'll keep you guys posted so let's move on to my facial products so i bought this guy glycolic acid um this didn't i did not buy from amazon i bought this from ulta beauty Mm, yeah <laughs> so this is an exfoliator um i bought this because i tend to have some textured skin so i kind of want to smooth out my skin and i saw great reviews about this online and um the ordinary brand so that's why i bought this uh i've been using it for like i say a couple weeks now i haven't seen any major results so i don't know we'll see i'm gonna keep using it so this is an HAA. So I use this at night time. I only use it um, once a day. And you're supposed to really wear sunscreen while you're using this because uh, your skin can be really um, sensitive to the sun. But I don't go anywhere, so I still wear sunscreen though. Um, what else I got? I got this glutathione. I know I'm saying that wrong. Glutathione. But this is supposed to be really good for hyperpigmentation um and it's a antioxidant so yeah so i'm gonna be using this we'll see how this goes i also bought this evening prime rose this is supposed to be really good i tend to have dry skin so this is like the um I'll, I'll read it to you 
Evening prime rose oil is cold pressed from the seeds of the evening prime rose plant. Each soft gel contains concentrated levels of GLA, a fatty acid which may help support dry skin and women's health. And when I read the reviews on this, they had some great reviews. This is also good for PMS symptoms. I got some foundation in here. I got, this is MAC, uh, but I bought it from Amazon. I got the Studio Fix Fluid and NW55. This is my color. Then I have the concealer, the Pro Longwear from MAC. Um, this is NC50. So yeah, so I had to make sure, cause you know, makeup stores are gonna be closed. So we gotta rack up on our makeup. Um, also got some eyeliner from this is Maybelline brand from Am but I bought it from Amazon just a jet black eyeliner I love me some eyeliner um, I bought two it was fairly inexpensive it was actually way cheaper than the um the drugstore I also bought this facial roller I love this thing it's so cute it's made out of clear quartz. If you're into crystals, you know about clear quartz. And you basically, you store this in the refrigerator. So um, after you put on, like uh, at nighttime, after, well, it doesn't, you could use it whenever, but I use it at night. After I wash my face, moisturize, put my oil, my serum, and then I roll this on. It kind of helps you absorb the, um, you know, your, whatever you put on your face. And then it's cool, so it gives that cooling effect. And then it's supposed to help with like fine lines, but I don't know. I don't know whether it works or not. Um, I saw some girl on YouTube talking about it and I was convinced. I was like, I'm gonna try it. You know what? I didn't notice that how much stuff I bought until I put everything together. I was like, wow, I've been really buying a lot of facial stuff. Um, but yeah, that was one of my goals is to get my skin together. Um, I also bought this thing, this Lux Skin Microdermabrasion Kit. This is supposed to like suck all the whiteheads out. I've used it already. I'm going to do a separate review on this. So if you want to know more about this, stay tuned. Is that all for my face? Yeah. Oh no. I bought this bad boy. This is a facial steamer. The brand for this is Lono. This is how it looks. Um, I wanted the pink one, but they didn't have any more. So I just went with this one. Um, I used it twice. I really like it. Um, it really gives you that like calming kind of feel. It opens up your pores. It's easy, it's simple. It has this little pocket thing back here. You open this up. It was a little tight you put the water in here put it here you plug it in turn it on and wait for it to start you know releasing steam and once the 10 minutes is up it stops and you have to like refill it with water but I, all I need is 10 minutes anyway it's not like a professional grade steamer it's just something that you can you know use for yourself in the house if you wanted to do a mask one of those masks where it cleans out your pores. You might want to open your pores up first with a steamer and then put the mask on and then close your pores back up with cold water. I also have this. This is Baby Foot Exfoliation Foot Peel. It's funny, I've been dying to try this and I, I got it like I say a week ago and I still haven't tried it yet. But yeah, I'm going to insert a picture of how my feet are supposed to peel. This is supposed to make your feet softer and smoother by peeling off all the old dead skin. So yeah, I really need to get on this. It also comes with these wipes for your feet. Put some lashes. You see the first row is gone. I have, um, I have them on now. <laughs> also bought some nails. Some press on nails, you know, we're all doing press ons these days. I like this color, it's a pretty color. So they're longer than the ones I have on now. The ones I have on now is really short, they look like my nails, but these are a little longer. I want to go a little longer. So these are the Kiss press on nails. I'll be trying those on. I think that is all I have for now. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.